Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and today I wanted to go through something which I get asked a lot about and it's how to join a cannabis social club in the UK. Now, before we get into how to actually join these places, I need to go through what these places actually are because there's so many different types of cannabis social club and some people have a different thought when they hear cannabis social club to others. So first of all, I figured I'd go through what types of cannabis social clubs there are in the UK actually available right now and then we'll get into how you actually go about joining some of these clubs. Quickly, before we get into the video though, quick message from our sponsor of the day, The Goods. Yo, The Goods have been absolutely amazing showing support for the channel and their products are absolutely amazing. And yeah, those vapes that I showed you in the last previous videos, I've still been using them every single day and I've been absolutely loving them. And you can get a discount with code DREW or code DREW420 and uh, yeah, you can get a discount for 5% off anything on the site. So go check out The Goods down below. Remember, even just clicking on the sponsors link and going to the website and looking at the website, like seriously, that helps. Like it helps a lot. So cheers guys, thank you very much. and. Let's get on with the video. So the way that I see cannabis social clubs in the UK is I see it as there's three main different models that you could be seeing if you have a local club around you. So number one is the most common version of a cannabis social club, which is just a registered cannabis social club through UKCSC. Now, whether this means they have a venue or whether they just host events is sort of... <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> so these registered cannabis clubs, they are everywhere. There's like, you're almost guaranteed if you live in the UK that you have a registered cannabis social club somewhere within a half an hour drive of you. And, and like I said, whether they host events or whether they have a venue or whether they do anything at all uh, is kind of down to which club it is. So some of these places do have a venue and they are registered and they are legal. They're just a safe space for people to consume cannabis. You can't buy anything there, but it is a good place to just meet people, chill out, have a social place and have a nice safe place to smoke. That's why a lot of these clubs are allowed to run. It's because, you know, the local police forces see it as, well, we don't want these people smoking on the side of the street. We'd much rather them just congregate inside one place and then not annoy the people who don't really like it. But these places might not have a venue. They might host events instead. Now, obviously with everything going on in the world right now, events aren't really a thing, but usually there's so many events that go on around the country. Like I, I would say on a normal year, I would probably go to about 15 different events across the country and that's in 15 different places like completely different places like an hour apart from each other so what these events are they're like legal protests which are organized to basically be in a public space where there's a big stall loads of people smoking weed in the park and you get to know local people who are involved in your local cannabis club or just involved in local cannabis based businesses and it's quite a nice event to be able to meet people at so that's what i would consider to be the legal side of cannabis social clubs they're registered through ukcsc they're organized with the local police force or the local council or both. How do you find out about these UK CSC social clubs, which, you know, are the ones that I'm saying are the legal cannabis clubs that you should be able to find? There's a website called UK CSC. You can go on the website and you can see a massive list of all of the clubs that are available. But this is the thing, right? I'm going to be completely honest when I say this because I've been in this community for like five years now and <laughs> I know this is like the back of my hand. I would say at least 50% of the cannabis social clubs that are registered through UK CSC don't do anything. Like, like, you know, they just set themselves up, say, hello, we are a cannabis club. They register themselves through UKCSC and then they don't do anything. They don't have a venue, they don't have events, they don't do shit. So do keep that in mind that there are a lot of these places on UKCSC that literally don't do anything. So that's the legal side of cannabis social clubs. And depending on how the models run, depends on really what's going to go on, depends on whether it's events, depends on it's a venue. I think I've gone through that, but there's still two other types of cannabis social clubs that I know of in the UK. So those would be a sort of semi-legal cannabis social club and then a full-blown illegal cannabis social club. Let me go through the semi-legal ones and explain how they are and explain the, the situation with them. So the semi-legal sort of cannabis social clubs or coffee shops, whatever you really want to call them, uh, they run in a totally different model. So if you know how Spain does their cannabis clubs, then you kind of already know what I'm about to say. But essentially the way it works is you become a member of a cannabis social club. Then you have a membership card, which I actually have loads for free UK ones, but I don't want to, I don't want to leak any names of the, like the places or anything so i'm not gonna get one out but um essentially you get a membership card and then you're gonna put money on the membership card or just in general be a member of the club and then you donate money to the club and then they technically give you weed for free so that's how people get around the law of selling bud because selling bud is you know, fully illegal, like, you know, selling to directly to a street user is category three distribution. So you will get completely fucked for it. Um, but the way people get around this law is obviously you donate to the club and then you get weed for free. Now you have to have some big balls to open a club like that in the UK and hope that you're not going to get shut down. And I only know of two clubs that are running in that model with police knowing about it and saying that's fine. 
and knowing that that's the Spanish model and knowing that that is a good way to go. Now, just because I only know of two places that get away with this from like the law and the local council doesn't mean that those are the only places. And I'm just saying those are the ones that I know about that get away with it as well. This is why I'm saying it's a semi-legal coffee shop model because some of them are signed off by police commissioners and are named as, okay, this is an okay model to go with. And other people follow that exact same model, um, but they haven't gone through the council and they haven't gone through the local police force. So it's this big gray area. That's why I call it the semi-legal model. Um, obviously that is the kind of nicer model. It's a nicer club to be in, but like I said, it's a, a bit of an iffy one. So how do you get into some of these like semi-legal cannabis social clubs? The thing is most of these sort of semi-legal cannabis social clubs are mainly for locals and they don't really like sort of, you know, people coming at, from outside of their circles. And if they do, they've got to have a referral from somebody else. So there's not really a way that you can join those clubs without just knowing people and being in the scene and, and in general knowing your shit. With the normal UKCSC clubs, like that is, you know totally different thing you could be not in the scene whatsoever and just send them an email and you never know you could be accepted into a club whereas these ones are a lot more secretive and now if we're saying that the semi-legal ones are pretty secretive and hard to get into now you can imagine what the illegal ones are like <laughs> there are a lot of illegal coffee shops in the uk as well and these are coffee shops that are straight up coffee shops not cannabis clubs like these are kind of like straight up i mean it kind of depends on whether you want to call them a cannabis club because a lot of them they say they're cannabis clubs and you are supposed to have a membership to go to them and and all of that but they don't follow the donation model or maybe they don't even have a membership whatsoever and they just are selling bud from a venue and there's a space for people to smoke bud now some of these fully illegal coffee shops are also okay to run by the police force like some local police forces have been like you know what Fuck it. We'd rather that happen than have some 10 bag matey down the road slinging, you know, bits to kids, you know? Like, it, 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 some places do allow it, but because it's such a gray area and because it's, you know, not run under any previous model known before and it is essentially just an illegal store, these guys keep themselves to themselves. <laughs> and, um, to be able to go into these places, you just have to know somebody who already knows them, you know? It's one of them things where if you know, you know. And, you know, that can be an unfortunate thing, but just knowing that they exist in the first place can be some people's first steps. Because I remember back in the day, I was researching just coffee shops in, in general, right? I, I think it was like 2014, 2015, and I was just looking up weed stores and the history of weed stores, and I was just interested in a bunch of stuff. And it came into my head, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any stores in the UK that like, you know, ever used to just run in like, you know, and they're like an illegal model. Cause, oh yeah, I, I remember it. it was when I was thinking about the fact that the law changed to class B ages ago. And I was thinking surely there were some people who made coffee shops when it was class B and then just never closed them. I made a video about when there were loads of uh, stores being opened when the law changed in like 2000, two to five ish i can't even remember but videos up here if you want to go click that there and see the history of weed stores in the uk but i specifically remember when i was looking up these coffee shops i saw a forum post which said a specific area and it said like a specific type of door and it said that they went to this coffee shop that's been running ever since those sort of days and i was like what that's crazy two years later i ended up going to that coffee shop that I saw on that forum post. So, you know, just knowing about things is what gets you in that step to be able to, you know, achieve it. I don't know. So I wanted to make this video to tell you guys how you can join a cannabis social club. Uh, obviously there's three different models and you can only really join one of them. <laughs> but you never know. You never know what comes about. And just like I said, just knowing about them kind of changes your mind. And the more known this gets in the UK, the more clubs that will pop up, the more clubs that will get registered with UKCSC, the more councils that will be okay with it, the more police forces that will be okay with it. And eventually it's just gonna be so normal that people just forget about what the law actually is, you know? And that's kind of already happening in the UK. And I, I kind of rate it. Let me know your thoughts on cannabis social clubs in the comments down below. I want to know if you've ever been to a club. Let me know if your local club has like a venue, whether they host events or whether they don't do anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, have a good one, people. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. I always like making informational videos like this and a bunch of people told me to make it on my live stream. Uh, but also, I forgot to say, I'm doing a watch party later tonight for Borat 2. Borat 2 just came out today. If you're watching this in the future, you probably don't care. But 
tonight after this video goes up Borat 2 we're watching it on Twitch just make sure you have linked your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and then you can watch it with me we're starting at 9 I think we'll probably start the film at like 9.30 so I'll catch you guys then in a bit peace the fuck out